Hi, I'm Steve. Uh, I write and draw comics. I'm an illustrator and I teach in the Creative Technologies Department at ISU. In conjunction with like the, the dad's lecture, it's going to make a lot more sense. Um, and it's going to be a better learning thing because then you can zoom in on everybody's work and you can kind of reverse engineer, oh, I like that thing that you know, Skyler did here, or Daniel did there, or whatever. Um, and, <laughs> or Wyatt, or Tanner, or Aiden, yeah, or, or Kyle. <laughs> or, 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 My name is Zachary. I am a former uh, student at Illinois State University. Today, I'm an auditor in Steve's class. I work very closely with Steve. I've worked very closely with Steve after the past few years. He's assisted me in developing my digital and traditional portfolio for art in my career. One thing that I've learned from Steve, although it might sound cliche, it seriously did change my outlook on things, is to love the process of growing. Honestly, every time that I looked at a piece and finished it, and was like, this is awful, I don't like it. He was there on my side, and instead of pointing out what could be uh, improved upon first, he pointed out what I did right, and that really helped me with my creative process and just going through the motions of, whilst not creating the masterpieces I wanted in my head, I still could recognize that I was growing, that I was improving. And Steve is very good at helping students of all kinds acknowledge that. I started uh, as an illustrator, just trying to, to visualize other people's uh, text. And that was a lot of fun. It was a great learning experience. Uh, but I also kind of came to see some of my own shortcomings. I have aphantasia, and aphantasia is, um, I've heard it described as your mind's eye is blind. You know, if I close my eyes, I can't visualize stuff. I can't, you know, see my mom or my dad or my, my, my daughter's face. It's all just black. Just a lack of visualization skills uh, sometimes made particularly descriptive uh, art assignments sometimes tough. If, if someone's dictating the camera angle and all these other things, sometimes I, I, I would get frustrated with that because there wasn't a lot of leniency in terms of being able to do, um, to play my strengths. I, I kind of wanted to, to explore creating my own narratives, doing stuff like that. And comics, you know, are really one of my first loves. I wanted to break into comics and I, I started working toward that. And I ended up uh, with interest from a webcomic publisher. And that was kind of a, a game changer for me because I, I started doing um, a webcomic of the kind of stories I wanted to tell with the character I, I created. I went back to school, somehow I uh, have put away to everybody in the Creative Technologies program into giving me a job. And now I get to talk about really cool stuff that I enjoy. And uh, in, my, in my downtime, I, I get to make that kind of stuff. I've had a lot of detours along that path, but the, the best part for me is that I think those detours inform my choices as a creative, but also what I share with students.